Hi everyone, my name's Ski Oakenfall, and in this video I'm going to be looking at UA's new Luna software. So I thought what might be quite fun is to load up an old Ableton Live project, a track that I started quite a few years ago and never really finished off, um, and export the MIDI and the audio into a Luna project. Um, and in that way I can start experimenting with the plugins, um, look at some of the instruments, um, and also programming some MIDI as well. So here we have my Ableton Live project. Uh, this is actually in the new Live 11 beta. So let's have a quick listen through. Um, you can see it's quite a minimal project, not too many tracks. I've got kick, rim shots, there's a bass sound, uh, a Juno 106 pad, there's a break beat um, and some effect sounds as well. So yeah, let's have a quick listen through. This break beat's coming in now. So for some of the tracks I bounced out audio, but where I wanted to use the same instrument within Luna, I bounced out MIDI. And a quick reminder, in Ableton Live, you just do right click, export MIDI clip. Um, and what I ended up with was a bunch of files here. The .mid files are MIDI files. You can see Art Base, Juno Pad, um, and then we have some uh, WAV files as well. So for example, um, that City Rockers beat. There we go. And then the kick. So let's head over to Luna and see how it sounds. Okay, so welcome to Luna. We've got our project open here. You can see we've got the MIDI files and some audio files as well. Let's have a quick listen. Sounding good. We've got the kick drum, rim shot, the City Rockers beat. I've uh, added the SSL E channel on that, just taking off some bottom end added a bit of compression. And then I've got this going through a subgroup, the drums, and I've added a distressor to that. Um, some of the other sounds, so uh, I've got some of the effects here. Uh, let's just listen to those. Sound, and then this one as well. Okay. And then for our MIDI tracks, um, there's a few sounds here. So I've got this one, which is the uh, Prophet 5. It's the Archeria. Let's just open that. That's a really nice sound. Um, and I've got the Korg uh, SDD 3000 digital delay on that. Really love that. Um, and then for the bass line, this is the Korg Arp Odyssey. It's really nice. And then one of my favorites, the Juno 106. There we go. And if I just play that, um, I just solo it. We can just play around with that frequency cutoff. There we go. And last but not least, now this is a bit of a blast from the past. Um, this is another version of the Arp Odyssey, uh, but it's the Oddity. It's a lovely sound. I tried to recreate that actually with the Korg version, but just couldn't quite get the same sound. So I stuck with that one. And I've added the EMT 250 reverb on that. So the first thing I want to do is to look at this bass part which is currently being played on the Korg Arp Odyssey. And see how that would sound on the Luna Mini Moog. So I'm just going to drag that MIDI part up there and just mute that part. In fact, I could do that. I could do it another way. If I do Command M, I can actually uh, mute that whole region. So there we go. We've got the MIDI part up there. And what I'm going to do is just bring up the instruments and bring up the Mini Moog. And I've actually got a preset that I created, which is this one here. So let's just listen to how that sounds. 
really loving the sound of that. That sounds super fat. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm actually going to try replacing the drums. So I'm going to mute the kick. In fact, I'll do the same thing. I'm going to mute the kick and the rim shot. Again, Command M. So yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, I've got a track set up here and I'm going to try out uh, some of the sounds that are included in shape. So as you may know, Shape is a kind of sample player. It comes with loads and loads of sounds, um, a really, really high quality. And uh, you can see here we've got bass, pads, leads, keys, organs. Um, I'm going to go over to drums and I'm going to see what's available here. Uh, here we go. I'm going to try out the house kit. So I've got that up. Let's just play that. So some really nice sounds there. Okay, so let's create an eight bar loop. There we go. And let's just uh, put the pre-roll on. So that's gonna give us a one bar count. What's gonna make sure that MIDI merges on, which it is. Uh, let's just arm the track, check it's coming out. Um, and let's record in a part, here we go. Let's just select that, uh, hit E to open it up, um, hit Q just to make sure the quantize is open and select all and quantize. Great, so that's quantized it nicely. Um, so what I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna take that part there and I'm just going to hold down Alt or Option and duplicate it over. And let's try playing an, a rim shot over the top of that. So make sure pre-roll is on and MIDI merge is on as well. So let's record that part in. Okay, same thing. Select all, quantize. Good, sounding good. So we're building up this pattern now. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Uh, Alt click, copy that over. And let's try another part now. Let's try this kind of finger snap clap sound. Um, and also maybe some hi-hat as well. So let's record that in. Okay, so let's open that up again, quantize it. Take off the metronome now. Great, so that's working really well. I'm going to just duplicate that part uh, over there. Um, and let's just do uh, a few drops. So it might be quite nice here. Um, let's take the pre-roll off. There we go. Just to kind of uh, do a little drop at that point. So I'm just gonna do Command E and just go in there. And let's just keep that first kick 
but then mute the other notes. So let's do Command M. Nice, and let's do the same thing here as well. Command E, press E, select all of those. Oops. Command M. Excellent. Let's go back. So it's kind of familiar workflow to Logic Pro or Ableton Live. Um, you should be quite familiar with that. So you can see that I've actually kept that City Rockers beat in there to go over the top of that. It works really nicely. Okay, so now we've got the beat in. Uh, let's try some piano. Uh, so there's some great um, piano sounds uh, that come with uh, Luna. So we've got the Ravel there, which is very nice. So there's one here I want to try out, um, which is probably appropriate for this track, and it's the house piano. I think that's going to work really nicely. Uh, so I'm going to bring in the uh, virtual keyboard here so you can see what I'm playing. And I think it would also be an opportunity to look at the chords as well. So I'm just going to bring those up. There we go. So this track is in C-sharp minor. And the chords are as follows. We've got C-sharp minor 9, and then it kind of temporarily goes out of key, actually goes to the C-sharp major. Because we have this F minor 9, and then it goes back to the C-sharp minor, an E major 9, and then to an A major 9, and then down to C sharp minor nine again, F minor nine, E major nine, and then ending on the F sharp major seven. So it's kind of going in and out of the major minor. Okay, so let's record it in. There we go, even managed to play uh, without the click at the end there. So uh, cool, let's just uh, hide that for the moment and uh, have a look at our, our MIDI. There we go, it's in there. Press E again and um, let's do the same thing. Just hit the Q button and press Quantize. And what I thought would be really good with this is to try out a vocal. So I thought, hmm, maybe an acapella could work over this. And I did a bit of fishing around and found this fantastic one by Adiva, um, which is called In and Out of My Life. You keep coming in and out of my life. I just can't understand why. You keep coming in and out of my life. And if we play it over the top of the track, we can see what it sounds like. Can't you see I don't need you around? Thinking that you are my man. 
Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Um, I think there's one more part that would be really good and that's some strings. So I'm gonna dive uh, back into shape again. There we go. And just look through some of the sounds. Let's go to strings and let's go for the chamber string ensemble. Double click on that. That's the piano. It's not what we want. Okay, so let's record it in. And let's take it right to the end. Just give you a quick preview of these strings actually because I was just playing those chords earlier uh, with this sound. They sound absolutely gorgeous. You can actually add some notes to this chord, make it even more kind of cinematic. And of course, one of the things I just can't forget to mention is the amazing Neve Summing. So let's just have a listen to that. There we go. I'm going to play the track. Let's just uh, play it from around here. There we go. So you can see I'm going to put it in. It's out at the moment. So let's just put it in. Out. In. And we can uh, add some of the ATR-102 tape as well. Let's just put that in. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was really fun for me just to kind of experiment with some of these sounds and see the power of Luna. Um, I think it's really great to work outside of your comfort zone, work in a different DAW. Um, and I'll definitely be using this again, um, using a similar process. So I hope you can have some fun too.